In the parable of the soils, Jesus wanted to reveal to us the human heart in its response to the Word of God. In other words, he gives us, he gives us four different examples of how the human heart will uh, often respond to the Word of God. It starts out with uh, a heart that is very hard, and the, the seed, which is the Word of God, falls on the, the path, as Jesus calls it, and uh, the birds of the air come and just eat the seed right off of it. It's as if someone uh, sits under the preaching of the gospel and it doesn't penetrate their heart at all. Uh, they're simply there. It's simply hitting their eardrums and bouncing right off. Uh, they never even hear it. It never penetrates. Uh, and uh, they walk away completely unaffected by the word of the gospel. Uh, another kind of soil that Jesus tells us about, another kind of human heart, uh, is one where the seed falls in, in thorny soil. And the seed sprouts up. You know, it would be someone who says, yes, I, I believe this gospel. I want to I wanna live according to this gospel. But then the thorns or the, the cares of this world, as Jesus says, rise up and just, just choke it out. And uh, the person begins to get distracted by money or by the pursuit of power or by the pursuit of worldly pleasures. And before long, uh, the plant that grew out of the, uh, the seed of the word just shrivels up and dies. Uh, another kind of heart that Jesus talks about is one that falls in, uh, in rocky soil. Uh, it's a kind of soil that is very shallow because there's rock underneath it and the seed falls and uh, it, it germinates immediately. It just shoots up right, right immediately because the roots don't get very deep. And yet the sun comes out and persecution happens and because the, the word hasn't, hasn't had any deep root, rooting in the person's heart, uh, the plant shrivels under persecution. The last kind of soil that Jesus talks about is a, is a deep fertile soil. The word of the, the gospel falls in that soil and it, it sends down roots, it sends down uh, a, a deep foundation into the soil and grabs on and begins to get uh, nourished by the soil. The plant sprouts up and it, it begins to, uh, uh, to produce fruit. And that's the kind of life Jesus is saying that, that you ought to have. That's the kind of response you ought to have to the gospel. Not one that gets choked out, not one that gets shriveled up by persecution, not one that just really doesn't care and has no penetration at all, but one that receives the word and sends down roots into it, begins to get nourished by it, and then creates fruit.